to my channel. If you guys don't already know, I won the first ever NYX Face Awards New Zealand. In this video, I will be talking about my experience in the Face Awards. Also, seven tips that I believe will help you win, but also help you get started if you're considering um, entering the Face Awards next year. And also, I've been given some lovely questions from you guys, my lovely friends and followers that I will answer at the end of this video as well. Firstly, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe now. And if you want um, no notifications that I've uploaded a new video, just click on that cute little bell just in the corner. I have decided I'll become more active on YouTube and upload more videos for you guys, which is really cool. So it's so crazy that I won the first ever NYX Face Awards New Zealand. I still can't believe it. And I am so, so grateful and so happy that I was awarded such a huge, amazing prize. Uh, next month, I am going to LA on the 18th of August as the New Zealand representative of the Face Awards to go and watch the live finale event. And I'll be going with the organizer, Caro, who was so amazing. I can't wait to spend that time with her. Initially thinking about applying for the next Face Awards, I was very nervous just because I found out that you have to have a YouTube account um, to submit your videos and I've never made a video before until the very first entry and also I've, I have quite a small Instagram account just because I'm not, I wasn't frequent in posting um, pictures. Although those things worried me, I, I, I pushed them aside so I could focus on the most important part was to produce my best art that I could possibly create. So I started up my YouTube channel in April so I could submit my entry look. It was quite hard editing the first video and it was really nerve wracking starting up my YouTube account. Someone that really helped me and became one of my biggest motivators during this competition was the last year's USA Next Face Awards winner, Jessica Killil. I watched her tips about the Face Awards video before I even entered. Um, I thought it was a good idea just to see what she thought were the, her main points and her main tips um, before entering the Face Awards and it really really helped me and I'm so so glad that I watched that. After watching that video I felt so inspired, so motivated and so eager to get creating and I just pushed past all my nerves and just went for it. I will be mentioning a lot of her tips that are in her video. Jessica is so amazing. If you guys want more inspiration from her, go over to her YouTube and watch her um, Next Face Awards tips video. Also go over to her Instagram, um, Gorgeous Effects. She has so much amazing work you guys can have a look at. So now I'll be telling you my seven tips I believe will help you guys when entering the Face Awards next year. So tip number one. So when you are thinking about your entry looks and your challenge looks, you want to stand out and you want to be noticed. So you must think out the box. So think bright, bold colors, over the top head pieces, costumes, the works. You must remember that you will be judged mainly on the makeup. So put all your time on your makeup application. But if you incorporate um, head pieces, costumes, special effects, body art, just go all out, um, that would give you the wow factor that, that the judges are looking for. Although you're going to be judged on the makeup, you want to create a full character. So don't ever think minimalistic, don't go small. I knew from the very start of the competition, I wanted to pull out all stops and use every skill that I had. So in every look, I was always going to incorporate um, body art, spe some special effects, make a headpiece, hire or make a costume. So bring your talents to the table. Tip number two. During the competition, you'll be given challenges which will have specific themes. So my tip to you is when you're given a theme, don't create a look that is expected or done before or cliche or just obvious to the theme. You want to um, think a little bit harder. Go outside of the box and create something original. Being original with your looks will probably get you far in the competition because people are attracted to things that they've never seen before, so be different. Also, when you're thinking about your um, concept of your challenge, think about the overall composition of the photo. So what I mean by that is that if, does it look good zoomed in and zoomed out? So if you make top 30, top 15, etc., um, NYX Cosmetics Makeup will um, create a collage with all of the other contestants and you'll be like a really small little um, photo and you want to stand out amongst the rest. So it'll be you with 29 other contestants. So you want your photo to stand out even if it's really small. So make sure that your, your look looks amazing. Big, small, zoomed in, zoomed out. Tip number three. 
tell a full story in your looks. You want to captivate the viewers from the very start to the middle and the end. You want your creations or your characters to have a background story so the, the audiences fall in love with your look. Throughout all my looks I created a background story for each of my characters. It's like watching a movie, not just looking at makeup. Tip number four, prepare yourself now. Make sure you have a good quality camera or, an, or a phone. So I use my iPhone 8 Plus, which is this one that I'm using now on selfie mode and it looks pretty clear to me so it was nice and easy for me just to get a phone and pay it off and make sure that you have a good lighting setup so throughout my um my first looks i borrowed a ring light from a friend and then in my last looks i finally got one from my boyfriend for my 21st and it's the best thing ever and in the same tip familiarize yourself right now with video editing so video editing was by far my biggest struggle throughout the competition because i didn't prepare myself earlier I just I just got chucked straight in the deep end, edit this video, etc. So I use Adobe Premiere Pro and only now I've got the hang of it. So if you start now and get practicing, then you'll be ready to go when the face awards rolls on over next year. Tip number five. If you want to go all out in this competition, I warn you now it's not cheap. Luckily enough I have a full time job so I was okay just but you don't want to settle for cheap and nasty products you want to buy quality products you want your work to look professional and industry standard so i splashed out on good quality products wigs headpieces i bought my phone tip number six don't alter your beauty so i noticed when i was looking at the nyx face awards looks around the world um, most of the winners or most of the people that went quite far created really striking, beautiful, over the top, just absolutely amazing characters. So I tell you now, when you're coming up with your concepts, don't alter your beauty, don't make yourself look quite unattractive or a bit off-putting because people will just scroll right past your photo or they'll kind of be put off your look. So I'm not saying not don't create like monsters and gory things like that, but just still make it a striking character to look at so work with the contours of your face and work with what you know you look best in and the colors you want yourself to look the best or you want your model to look as amazing as you can possibly make her or him and my last tip number seven is to have fun stay true to yourself and your style people follow you for a reason so don't change who you are as an artist this competition is loads of fun um, so might as well get to know your competitors be nice and support each other. You guys are going through the same struggles and stresses, so might as well just help each other along. I have to say, I've made amazing friends from this competition. Okay, now I'm gonna answer some questions um, given to me by you guys, my followers and my friends. I um, said on my Instagram story a little while ago, if you guys have any questions for me to answer in this video, just send them through to me and I will try my best to answer them all. Okay, now let's start. So from Brianna underscore makeup XO asked me what look did you do that you were most proud of? I will have to say my second challenge look um, Drop Dead Gorgeous was definitely my favourite look because the theme itself um, relates to my style of art quite a lot so I've discovered that my style of art is creating um, hauntingly beautiful characters that have a creepy feel but also are quite striking and beautiful at the same time. Um, initially coming up with the concept for challenge two, I, it took me a very, very long time because I knew I wanted to do three looks that told a story and I really wanted to be original and create something that people haven't seen before and it was really hard. So I hope that I did create a look, if you guys remember it, um, that was original. So it was really fun creating three looks, creating um, a princess and then a transition character and then that dark queen at the end. It was like so much fun. It took like two days to film so I did the first two in one day and then the second in another day so that was definitely my favorite um, look from the face awards she also asked what do you think is the hardest part about the face awards so definitely managing um, time and life so this competition lasted like three months and throughout that time I was really busy always um, racing against the clock trying to balance work family my partner um, all at once and that was quite a struggle so trying to balance work um, as well as freelancing and making sure I spend time with my family and my partner um, was really really hard but 
you just had to get it done you had to put all your time and effort into this competition if you wanted to go far it's also another hard struggle of mine definitely editing my videos because it took bloody hours trying to compress four to six hours worth of footage into like 15 minute videos took so long so from the beautiful makeup madhouse she asked me, were you nervous entering the Face Awards because you just started your YouTube channel? Did you think that would be a disadvantage? Definitely. So to that question, absolutely yes. I was so, so nervous because I knew how hard it was to manage a YouTube channel as well as trying to bring more followers into my Instagram. Another question from Makeup Madhouse is, was it hard meeting all these new people during the finale? I'm sure a lot of people knew you and you didn't know them. Seems intimidating. So I'm not really a shy person, so it didn't worry me at all um, when I went to the final event and I met new people. So there was definitely random people coming up to me, congratulating me or wanting to talk about my um, looks, which was really, really cool. Like I felt like a superstar or like famous because people were coming up to me and um, just wishing me all the best. And especially after the final event when um, I won, I was... It was crazy, I didn't, I didn't even have time to breathe. I had people coming at me in every angle. And it, so it definitely wasn't hard. It was really actually so, so amazing and so much fun. The funniest part was when people were going up to my twin sister and congratulating her. That was hilarious. But they got the gist when they saw me holding the trophy. <laughs> Makeup Madhouse also asks, was, what was your biggest struggle? Anything makeup related or personal? So personally it was um, obviously balancing life and balancing time to spend with your family and your partner. Um, it was, it did take a toll. I did have grumpy family members and my boyfriend, things like that. But you just have to tell them that you are going to work so hard throughout this competition. You might not have enough time to hang out with them, but just tell them it's temporary and you'll get back to being yourself when it's all over. But right now you've got to give 110% and just grind it out. Makeup related was definitely trying to come up with the concepts um, as, like as soon as possible because sometimes we had um, maybe three and a half weeks come up with, with a look. So the challenge two, we had like three and a half weeks. So I had quite an artist block for that because we had so much time um, to think about it. I was overthinking all my ideas and it was just like an artist block going on upstairs and I was having a bad time. Um, but with my final challenge look, we only had, what was it, a, 12 days I think. Um, so I didn't have enough I don't have enough time to procrastinate or overthink my ideas um, I pretty much got my idea sussed in like two days and that was like magical I didn't think that was gonna happen um, but just trying to balance your stress levels like you have to try and remain calm if you want to produce your best work you just have to be positive take everything easy um, just let things flow naturally um, surround yourself with amazing people and make sure you have time for yourself. You don't wanna um, overwork yourself or stress yourself out because you'll get sick and that's the last thing you want. Another question given to me by Morgan's underscore beauty bizarre. How do you come up with your concepts? Explain your creative expression. So how I usually come up with my concepts, I'll break it down for you guys. Um, so when I see a theme or we're given a theme, I write down straight away my initial thoughts and then I hop onto my computer and go through Pinterest and Google and just type up anything that I think relates to the theme. You can even, even um, just straight away look up the theme itself straight away um, and then you can just go off all the photos from there. So I create a mood board on Word. Um, I just copy and paste photos of artworks, makeup ideas, headpieces, costumes. Um, just random pictures that just inspire me and just stand out to me. So I just create a massive photo board, photo board or mood board. After I have my mood board, I, I then figure out if I want to make um, one character, if I want to create two characters or three characters. And then I then go on to the color scheme. So I decide what colors I want for either all of my characters and then that will help me break down what I'm gonna put onto my face or my skin. So I start to think about the mood of the character. Is she a dark character? Is she a happy character? Is she quite a whimsical character? And then I start sketching face charts um, of the makeup look that I wanna do. I start just doodling on my arm and legs about pa body painting ideas that I'm gonna put on my body. And then after my character's sort of sorted, I or we always want to add more. So I think about the wig I'm going to put on her or a headpiece or the costume 
or prosthetics, I'm going to add to her face to make her face different or her chest or whatever. Yeah, so when I, when I sketch out my designs, I look at my mood board and take aspects from photos and then I pop it onto paper or I pop it onto my face. Depends, I can practice um, drawing it out on paper or I just go straight to my face and just go to town and just practice. But yeah, just looking at a few photos can just inspire me to create um, a makeup look, which is quite cool. So those are a few questions that I was given from you guys. Um, so that's it. Those are my seven tips and my Q&As for the Next Face Awards. So feel free to message me on Instagram. I'm always here for you guys. If you guys have any questions at all about um, makeup, about, about body painting, about the Next Face Awards itself, anything at all, just um, fire me away with questions. I am always, always eager to help you. I really want to inspire and support anyone that wants to do the Next Face Awards next year. It's crazy to know that I am the first New Zealand winner and I can't wait for next year to see how crazy it will be and, and it's going to be so amazing seeing um, amazing artists come out to participate. It's going to be so amazing seeing um, more artists. I hope every single one of you applies for the Next Face Awards next year. It's not scary at all. Just send in your entry. Make sure that the video is on good, is a good quality and that you've worked your hardest to produce um, your entry lock because only 30 people are selected which is not a lot in all of New Zealand. So next up in my life is traveling to LA for the LA final event that was part of my prize for winning. I'll be going with Caro, a really amazing lady who works for L'Oreal. I mean who will be going on the 18th of August so stay tuned. I'm gonna try my best to make a vlog so I can vlog all the amazing things that I'll be doing there and when I go to the live event I'm gonna just harass every makeup artist that I love and adore and just say hello to every single person. Also if you guys want um, to see a particular makeup look um, just let me know what you guys want to see. Um, YouTube videos if you have any ideas of what you want to see as well just um, comment below or message me on Instagram. I'm always checking my messages so just just fire away and just let me know please. Thank you so much for watching this video. It means the absolute world to be your very first Next Face Awards New Zealand winner. I hope this has helped you. Feel free to ask me anything you want. So stay tuned for my vlog to LA. We will find out who takes out the Next Face Awards LA, which is the biggest competition in the world. And I'm going to meet all the other winners from around the world, which I am already crying internally. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, subscribe to my channel. Head over to my Instagram account, Casey underscore Taylor Effects. And I will see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye. Oh no, look at my eyeballs. Look at your eyeballs. Go close, others. No, I Go, don't. oh god. Sideways. You look weird. You well? I still have blue from my body paint yesterday. Well done. It's so hard to get out. <laughs>